Now, there's been mixed reaction to President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet reshuffle last night. Much of the focus has been on the ministers of electricity, intelligence and public works. Paul Mashatile now takes over as the new deputy president following David Mabuza's resignation. Let's get you more reaction now and bring in Dr. Musubudi Mangena, who's a former minister himself, joining us now via our video link. It's great to have you on the program. Thanks very much indeed for making time to speak to us. And let's start there. You've been in cabinet before. And I wonder, you know, how involved you'd say ministers are in their respective portfolios such that they could be changed so drastically to different departments, departments seemingly they don't have any kind of knowledge about? Yes, they can. Ministers don't do most of the work. The, the work is done by the departments, the civil servants that are uh, in various departments. So ministers lead uh, politically, morally and, and, and otherwise to make the, the civil servants in their departments uh, to function. And in fact, um, most of the time we talk a lot about ministers and how things might change, forgetting that, um, in fact, in our country, um, uh, there is a strong suspicion that the, the civil service is seriously damaged by uh, employing people who are not suitable for the job. And, and, and it doesn't matter how much the minister might try and lead if the people who are in, 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 the, in the civil service are square pegs in round holes, you are not going to get much work done. So um, I suspect that we are going to face a, a, a similar situation here where there will be some marginal improvements where the ministers are determined to get their work done. I can see a few shining sparks like Chikunga in transport, in uh, Kokta, uh, and, and so on, and particularly Ramakhopa. I think um, uh, considering where we are at the moment as far as electricity is concerned, uh, our focus should be on uh, what Ramakhopa might be able to do. But it is also an indication that um, uh, the president is unable to make the ministers who are in place to work. There are two ministers related to the energy issue, and they've been there for years, and things have been deteriorating, and um, uh, the, the president sees it fit to bring in someone else who might who must, must get things done in the electricity sphere. We can only wish him well, and I think he's probably coming without a, a, a department or civil service. He will probably have to appoint uh, a few people, not um, many people, and then we might see things uh, going in as far as electricity is concerned. Yeah, we'll speak about uh, a bit more of what he ought to do, at least as a first course of action. But you mentioned this idea of shining sparks. I mean, um, I think it was feeling Balula in the immediate reaction yesterday, also mentioning that there are a number of young people in this particular cabinet depending how you define young, right? <laughs> no offense to anyone, but Mamuluku Kubai has been, uh, you know, listed as among those people, Kumbuzon Chabeni, um, Marupini Ramokhopa, um, and, you know, that's already three more than what sometimes we've become accustomed to, at least in rec recent history. Do you reckon that's anything to be excited by, or these are just people who, sadly, may very well be hamstrung um, by whatever challenges existed in, in government? No, I think they are young, and, and um, uh, I think there is this ageism that is uh, setting in in our, in our society mm. that is unnecessary. But I think that there is a, a proper mix. Um, granted, there are people who are well over their uh, 70s and so on, um, who are, are, are many in, in, in Parliament, but if they are healthy, uh, in the cabinet, rather, and if they are healthy and they are able to do their work, so be it. But um, the, the, the thing that we need to focus on is on a state that is capable of functioning. And that functioning is the civil service. There is lots of talk about uh, professionalizing our, our civil service. Uh, it, it's moving very slowly. It's not getting anywhere uh, fast enough. Uh, but unless we do that, we fix that, uh, we are not going to, you, you can bring uh, the brightest uh, minister from uh, wherever, uh, but if the civil service does not function, that person will not be able to do anything. So they, there is a need for us to 
a focus on getting the right people in the right places, as opposed to a situation where a lot of civil servants are in their positions because they are um, uh, connected politically, because they are connected socially, because they are connected family-wise, because they are connected friendship-wise, and so on. And, and as long as we have that, we can't get anything going. And mm -hmm. uh, having been there uh, and having spoken to a few of my, my, my former colleagues, um, there is a lot of that that is happening. People getting in there and finding that there is lots of uh, people who are sitting in their positions but are unable to do the work. And you can't get rid of them. You, they've got to kill someone before you can get rid of them according to the laws that we have in this country. And you are, you are stuck with a, a, a civil service that is unable to do its work. So we have got to look at that as well. Sure. But um, let's hope that, uh, um, that people will be able to shake things and it, to get even those people who can only limp on one foot to limp even harder. Mm. I'm going to put you on the spot and ask very plainly whether you think there are any ministers in this particular cabinet who shouldn't be there. I mean, for one, there's already been discussions about whether Kumbuzan Chabeni is the best uh, placed person to lead up state security in the country. No, I'm unable to say that. Um, uh, but it appears to me that she is uh, someone with uh, a lot of energy and so on. Um, but I, 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 I can attest to her actual capabilities. Um, but, but I mean, as, as, as a whole, um, uh, the, this government has not been performing. I mean, in, not in only in, in one respect, energy and so on. But tell me one thing that is running properly in this country. Uh, migration, immigration, security, um, uh, education, uh, health. Tell me what what is it that is running properly? Yeah. And uh, cr crime is out of out of control, and it has not been touched in this uh, uh, cabinet arrangement. But if you go into uh, that uh, uh, police uh, department as well, you will find that yes, even the recruitment is 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 is, is botched. Uh, there are lots of people who are police and who shouldn't be police. And the training is so bad, people can write proper statements that make sense to courts to, and, and so on. So we, we have got a, a, a big problem that requires an overhaul of uh, the setup. I imagine that even if you tomorrow, uh, this ANC government is removed and you put another government, they are going to have a big problem getting the state to function because the civil servants um, uh, have been damaged in the manner in which I've d described. Yeah. I mean, you ask what is working properly. Uh, some people might respond and say, well, load shedding is implemented very efficiently <laughs> in the country. But <laughs> I think they're obviously speaking tongue in cheek. Speaking about load shedding, of course, uh, the man of the moment, many might argue, is possibly Dr. Jose Enzo Ramakopa, who now takes up this mammoth task of trying to solve a decades-long issue, quite frankly. Um, and, and I wonder whether, you know, from your standpoint, he's got the support he needs. For one, we know he's operating in a context where there's a state of disaster. That means he's able to bypass certain regulatory um, requirements. But we also know that opens the door to all kinds of corruption, at least in a country like ours. Now, if you, we talk about people uh, being appointed on merit, at least at a distance, it is uh, Hossein Ramakopa. Um, he, uh, he, has, he has got the qualifications. He has got a track record of, uh, of performance. And I think he will know what he is going into. One thing that is going in his favor is that there is no department that he is going to inherit. So he's going to, to start afresh. I understand that it is going to be a, a temporary uh, department that is uh, one created to solve this particular problem and there is state of di disaster. So he will be able to appoint his own people, I hope fully on merit because uh, electricity is a technical thing. I hope you'll be able to appoint people uh, on merit. We have got many. This country does not lack people with skill, with qualifications, with ability to do the right thing. I hope that he will not be impeded by politics and other, other issues 
and that he will be able to, to get this thing running. This country needs ESCOM fixed several years back, not now. And so our whole lives depend on this. So it is terribly important that um, he succeeds. And I think if there's anybody who might be able to give it a, a, a crack, uh, it is person to Ramahob. Dr. Musbudi Mangena, thanks for your take. Really appreciate your coming on to the AM report as we continue watching how this particular story unfolds. Once again, appreciate your time. Dr. Mangena is a former minister himself.